The game that we will be playing today is called Pattern Predictor. In this game, we will be working in pairs to accurately predict a pattern that is only partially revealed. The materials you need to complete this game include pattern strips, a pattern sleeve to hide patterns, pattern predictor paper, and dry erase markers. To start the game, place a pattern strip in the pattern sleeve. When all pairs are ready, reveal the first three figures of the pattern. Allow pairs to discuss and create full 10-figure prediction of the pattern and briefly describe the pattern in the line space below. Once all pairs have their prediction, reveal the fourth figure. If pairs accurately predict the fourth figure and are confident in their pattern, they may choose to do so by flipping their pattern upside down next to the pattern sleeve. The remaining pairs keep working until they submit their pattern. If pairs cannot figure out the pattern after a figure is shown, they may ask to see the next figure. In this case, the player with a pattern 1, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 isn't sure that their pattern is right, so they want to see the next figure. When all pairs agree that they want to see the next figure, pull the pattern strip so the next figure is revealed. Repeat this until all pairs have submitted a pattern prediction. After every pair has submitted a pattern, reveal the entire pattern. The first pair to accurately submit their pattern explains the complete correct pattern and earns three points. The second pair to submit a correct pattern receives two points, and every other pair who submitted a correct pattern receives one point. Any incorrect submissions will result in a deduction of one point. The first pair to earn ten points wins. An extension for this game would be to allow players to create their own patterns to use in the game. Pattern Predictor encourages productive struggle during the game. Follow-up conversations about how students thought about the patterns could benefit the whole group. Example discussion questions are, what did you see being repeated in the different shape patterns, and what was re being repeated in the number patterns? 